I feel like my hair's a mess. I don't think you guys can tell that it's a mess, but it's super tangled. Good morning. It's like 7.30, 7.45 in the morning right now, and I have a little bit of time before I actually have to start working. So I thought, what better time now than to like read a little bit and try to get myself out of this reading slump. So regardless if I'm out of my reading slump by the end of this week, I'm gonna end the video. <laughs> Because I don't want to force myself to get out of a slump that is caused by forcing myself to read to begin with. Coming back to making videos and reading more after a couple months. I wouldn't say I'm in like a super bad slump because like I'm still able to read without losing my mind. You know how sometimes you're in one of those slumps where you read and you're like, oh, nothing is nothing is computing. I'm in kind of like the middle ground where I want to read and I want to pick up a book. It's just I'm not getting that mm feeling when you get a really good book, which is really sad because the book I'm currently reading, I know I would eat up if I wasn't in this reading slump. That's Powerless by Lauren Roberts. If I wasn't in my reading slump, I would be eating this book up. This has everything that I love, but it's still not giving me I rather rot in my bed for the entire day and just read this book. And I wish I had that feeling. So we're going to try to get that feeling back Back this week my brain isn't functioning very well because I just woke up not too long ago but we're just gonna read a little bit before I jump into work hope for the best I completely forgot to talk to you guys about this book for cutting off the camera so I'm gonna do like a brief little summary I am currently on page page 159 I'm enjoying this book there are some points where I feel like it's a little bit too descriptive or like it's rambling a little bit, but that might also be my reading slump. It might not even be the book. It just is me. It's me. So if you guys don't know what Powerless by Lauren a Roberts, Aberts, this girl, her name is Hayden, and she does not have any type of magical powers whatsoever. And she's living in a world where if you don't have powers, you are executed. So she is living her entire life lying and pretending that she does have powers. And then there's Kai, which is the male main character. Did I tell you it's dual point of view? it is dual point of view he is a prince of course he is super strong of course after some really unfortunate events Payton is voted into competing in this Hunger Games-esque competition. They aren't guaranteed to die. It's not like a battle to the death situation, but for someone that has really weak or no powers like Payton, it is very likely to die in these games when you're competing against nobles and royalty. So our girl is gonna have some rough time. So I just finished breakfast and I think I know why this book is giving me kind of a hard time. But I think the reading slump is really, I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but like really taking me out of the world. There are just lines that will just be like, no way you just said that to me. If a real man in real life said that to you, you would cringe. Fantasy books have this exception because they're romantic and this way of talking and it's like, it's fine. But right now I'm reading this and there are some things in here that I'm like cringing. And I know I normally wouldn't cringe, but I think it's because because I'm not fully invested in the story. I'm not fully in this world while reading. I'm very much aware that I'm reading and I hate that feeling. I hate the feeling of when you're reading and you know that you're reading words on a piece of paper. I think that's the worst part about a reading slump. I don't know if you guys agree. I don't know if you guys have experienced this, but that's what I'm struggling with. I'm so sorry to the characters of this book. Okay, I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to get the hype behind Kai and Peyton. Before I was like, mm, whatever, they're just like any other couple in a fantasy novel. I don't know, they're fun. They're like fun characters. They're not insta-lovey, but then they're also not too much of enemies where I'm like, okay, they like clearly hate each other. How are they ever gonna be a couple? Like they hate each other so much. I'm chapter 23, page 199, and I'm really enjoying this book. Am I getting them out of my slump? 
it's working. I honestly think it's working. <laughs> it's been the entire day since I last talked to you guys. Did not want to force myself to read, especially because the last thing you want to do while you're in a reading slump is to force yourself to read. Oh, wait, no, I lied. I lied. I did pick up another book. <sighs> Let me go get it. So I picked up Kingdom of the Feared in audio. While I was making my lunch and I was eating my lunch, I was listening to this book. I didn't feel like I was forcing myself to read. I was listening to someone tell me a story. I think I almost... Uh chapter three of like somewhere around 40 something pages. This is the third book in the Kingdom of the Wicked series. If you guys don't know what it's about, I can't really tell you what this book is gonna be about, but these twin witches, one of them is found dead and the other is trying to find the murderer. She like conjures up one of the seven princes of hell and they end up teaming up to try to figure out this mystery. And it, it's like a fun little fantasy adventure. It's not one of my favorite series I've ever read, but it's something that I would recommend to people and I'm enjoying. So I thought might as well finish the last book in the series, but I have not read any more of Powerless. It helped a lot, not forcing myself to read, but reading when I'm just enjoying it. And this book is getting really good. It's getting to like the juicy parts. There's more political stuff going on rather than like just the romance. It's getting more political and more interesting, more depth, more backstory into the characters. Right now, I feel like the characters are a bit flat. We get a little bit of Peyton's background. We understand like where she comes from and why she is the way she is, but we don't really get much of Kai and like the other characters. So I'm really hoping we get more of that because then I'll feel more attached to these characters. I do like them. They banter and they're quite funny, but I just don't feel any type of attachment to them. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping I'm gonna grow more attached, but I am really, really enjoying this book so far. I'm gonna read a little bit and I will check in with you guys a little bit later. human paparazzi like they don't need cameras but they are the camera are you kidding me right now you can't ever escape gossip drown in her <laughs> Get a hold of yourself, man. Get a hold of yourself. Okay, that's it. It's official. I'm gonna start reading Crescent City. Today is January 30th and the release of Crescent City 3. That is the reason why I'm starting the books because I feel so much FOMO. Like I've been putting it off. Maybe because I know how much pain Sarah J Maas can put into her books. I'm just not ready for that pain. The shit I went through for Throne of Glass does not compare. So I just did, I didn't know if I wanted to, you know, put myself through that. But now with the release of the third book, I'm feeling so much FOMO. I want to know what is up. Like, what is up? It's so crazy because of course it's Sarah, the mother herself, getting me so excited to read again. You know, Powerless has been doing really good. I've been really enjoying it. I didn't update you guys last night, but I did read a lot of it. And I think I'm currently on like 250 something or 260 something. And I'm really enjoying the book so far. I don't know, it's very surface level, Miss Sarah. So I kind of wanna jump into Crescent City. Obviously, it's gonna take me a minute to read the books, but that's okay. I wanna take my sweet time reading these books. And of course, I'll give you guys a reading vlog. Guys, never in my entire life have I gone from cheesing, like, smiling so big and like laughing and getting giddy and like rooting for this character to utter shock. I am in shock. Like I don't know why I didn't see this coming. She kind of foreshadowed it two pages earlier, you know, like something was gonna happen. Tell me I was just like ha 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 like triumphant. And now I'm like, just give me one second.
Anyways, I'm currently on page 281 in Powerless and I'm really, really enjoying it more than I did yesterday. I think it's because there's more action and kind of like story going on and more plot rather than like the world building and the character building. I don't fault this book because I think this is going to be a series. I don't think this is a standalone. So it's always going to have to be that way for the first book. I don't think it's a five star. I think it's probably like in the four star range. I don't think it's lower than a four star at least four star is what i'm feeling right now but it could go higher depending on the later half of the book i'm a little bit over half way through so i'm starting to get the hype i'm starting to get the hype of kai the main male character in this book i i'm feeling it i'm feeling the hype for him because <laughs> Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something that features. He is such a shameless flirt. Nothing embarrasses him. Like, how are you not embarrassed? How are you just smirking? Wait a second. Is this a love triangle? Is this a love triangle? God, please, no, please. I'm so over love triangles. I will lose my mind. There's only one love triangle ever that I've ever read that was beautifully written, and that's the Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare. Every other love triangle, that second male lead always makes me so unreasonably upset. It's not done well. It's not done well. But if you have a good love triangle where I don't know who I want her to end up with, that's fine. And if it's like really tragic, that's fine. I feel like that's asking too much. This better not be a love triangle, I swear to God. I swear to God. All right, so I just got off of work. It is like completely dark out for 6 p.m. Work was a little bit busier, so I didn't really have time to like sit down. I try to get like a, a chapter or two in while I was on break. I am currently on page 297. I don't know what page I was when I last talked to you guys, but almost on page 300. Really enjoying the book. I'm gonna start dinner, listen to an audiobook, and I'm gonna listen to Kingdom of the Feared, which is right here, but I'm just gonna listen to it on audio while I'm making dinner. So it's been like two days since I last talked to you guys, and I have not read Powerless at all. Not a single word of Powerless have I read in these past two days. So I'm still currently on page 297, chapter 34. It's not because I'm not enjoying the book, I am enjoying the book, but I still don't have that urge of rotting in bed to just read. I don't know why, because I feel like this book isn't slow paced or anything, but I, I don't know. I didn't read, but I did listen to an audiobook. I listened to a good bit of Kingdom of the Feared. I'm currently on page 141, chapter 10. And I will say, I feel like this series as a whole went from YA to adult. The first book and a little bit of the second book felt very YA, like there was no spice or anything. It was just a typical fantasy read. But as you got further and further along in the series and hit this one, it is very much adult romance. It's hard to explain. The spice level caught me off guard, but it isn't incredibly spicy. Do you get what I mean? I think it's because I expected this to be YA fully that I didn't realize the turn it was going to take in the spice, but it's not an abnormal amount of spice. Does that make sense? I'm enjoying this. I think it's really fun. I'm starting to like the, the side characters more than the other two books because you see more of them in here, especially Raph's brothers, especially Envy. He is hilarious. I love their personality and just how they like banter. I don't think either one of these are gonna be a five-star read, which is okay. At least I don't dread sitting down to read either one of these books. Good morning, besties. Okay, so... I do have good news. Great news, actually. I'm eating, eating this book up. Finally, finally eating this book up. Once you get to like, I wanna say probably this part in the book, 
something just flipped a switch in my head. It just like flipped, you know? I was liking the characters, I was loving their chemistry, I was loving them, and I was liking the plot, but not loving the plot. But now I'm like fully invested. You know, I don't know what flipped, but I think the tension between them and the tension between the politics of it and how different they are and who they are to each other because he grew up being taught to hate her kind and she grew up lying to protect herself from people like him. They're not supposed to be together but they're meant for each other it's that kind of vibe and you can cut the tension with a fucking knife that is how thick it is and that is how just crazy i'm eating it up i was on like page 290 something i believe and i sat there for a minute it's funny because right as i picked it up that was the exact moment where it's like things started to take a turning point so i really just needed to read a little more i'm currently on page 440 and that was all from last night. I just read from 290 something to 440 because I was devouring it. I could not put it down. I wanted to go to bed early, but I ended up just reading in the dark because it just, I, I needed them to be giving and they weren't giving understood they were giving but they were not giving what I needed them to give, which is understandable because of the situation that they're in. But the story is getting so good. I was gonna end the video because it's already Tuesday and I said I was gonna end it Sunday. But now I wanna finish the book for you guys, for me, and give you guys a rating because I swear to God, the last third of the book is something else. I have about 60 pages left, almost exactly 60 pages left before I'm done. So I'm gonna finish this and I'll catch you guys later. I did it besties. I've finished Powerless by Lauren Roberts. I did not think I was gonna finish this book for this video just because when I was in the middle of it, I put it down for a couple days at a time and didn't feel the like need or the pull to get back to reading but once i did it was over like i devoured it i it was just so fast paced when you get to that certain point it like flipped the switch you're sprinting through the rest of the book it's so good like the tension the fighting scenes and i want to applaud lauren roberts for doing so well with writing her fighting scenes i think a lot of fantasy books especially romanticy they kind of lack the description and the fight scenes are kind of lackluster but lauren did a really good job i could picture how the characters were fighting and it wasn't so quick to end fights aren't just like bam bam over it's actually a whole chapter sometimes and it's just so nice to see that kind of writing because you kind of feel like you're watching a movie rather than like one person getting beat down super quickly so i i really enjoyed that originally i was going to give this book a four star but i think i'm gonna end up giving it a 4.5 i think i would have enjoyed it a lot more in the beginning half of the book if i wasn't in my slump and then the later half of the book really really did it for me it was the characters it was the story itself it got more political and things just got so much juicier guys if you guys haven't read this book and you want to jump into a fantasy i highly recommend it's not super difficult world building the only world building that there is is like they have powers and what kind of powers each individual has who are the elites what is an ordinary that's about it it's like any other story where princess kings swords fighting all of that so it's not hard to imagine so i really recommend this book if you want to get into fantasy she wrote a really good tension in here and just makes the readers super anxious so anxious if i bit my nails i would be biting my nails reading the last portion of this book i'm gonna give this book a 4.5 i really enjoyed it and i think it did a really good job with kind of getting me out of my slump i'm really excited to jump into the next books i'm reading this is the only book that i finished in this video but yeah um, i hope you guys enjoy this video again if you haven't read it definitely go read it and i will catch you guys in the next one bye everyone's planning up to see her.